Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So before we get into the tarot, we're going to go into it with the oracle cards and see what spirit has for you guys. Then we will move forward with the tarot cards to see what's unfolding in your love life, Aries. As you guys can see here, we have a card that popped out when shuffling the tarot cards. We'll get into that in a bit. Let's see what spirit's messages are for you guys. Now your first card here is strategy. Your second card is indecision and the world card. All right. So there is this correlation that's going on right now for you, Aries, where for some of you guys, it could be really looking or taking inventory in regards to the connections and relationships that you have built uh, throughout uh, last year going into the beginning of this year. Um, there may be some indecisions here in regards to, uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you're dealing with two people. It could be that you're dealing with multiple people um, and really not being completely sure of what it is or who it is that you want. Uh, for others of you, it could be that you're very, you're at crossroads right now. For some of you guys, it's almost the feeling like with the strategy card and the world card, it's almost like being at crossroads right now. Uh, this could be feeling mentally that you're at crossroads, that there were some expectations that you had in regards to love and romance um, that either have not manifested the way you wanted them to. For some of you guys, like I said, it's expectations of where you thought at this point in your life you would be. So there is pressure there, and this could be Saturn's energy. Now, with the world card, there is an ending cycle. There is a new beginning. As you guys can see, uh, the Ace of Swords uh, came out when shuffling the tarot cards. So we'll get into that in a bit. But what they're telling you here is if you're feeling like there is a almost like the clock is ticking for some of you guys, and this could be you could be 23 years old and feel that you had visions or you had ideas of where you would have wanted to be by now, uh, this could be the pressure that you're feeling. For others of you guys, it could be in regards to your career, in regards to your finances. Um, there is definitely a feeling of having to make a quick decision because it's almost like time is escaping from your hands. Um, in situations like this, it is always best when you feel like you have to make a decision, even if it's not between two people or even if there's no such thing as pressure, but it is pressure that you're experiencing or feeling on a subconscious level. This is in your mind. Um, sometimes the best route or the quickest route to see some type of manifestation or some type of change, we have to remove ourselves from, from that being laser focused or from expectation itself. So the only way to do that is to get out of your own way. Take a deep breath and realize that when it is needed for you to make a certain decision in your life when it comes to love or when it comes to your career, you'll know exactly what to do when you follow your intuition and listen to your heart, Aries, okay? All right, let's get into your tarot. Now... The left side, it is going to represent the partner, or the person that you're dealing or the person of your interest. And the right is your cards. This is uh, what you're doing, what you're feeling, how you're dealing with situations in regards to your relationship. Okay. Now your partner's cards or the person of your interest has the ace of swords here with the eight of swords and the temperance. Your cards is the hanged man, the four of swords. And the high priestess okay so for some of you guys the stress or the feeling of having to make a decision can come um, because you're feeling at the present time that the person of your interest or the person that you're dealing at the present time is having high expectations or they're wanting something from you this could be uh, perhaps if you're casually dating them this is them wanting to take it to the next level they feel or they view the situation with the Eight of Swords like they've been stuck in that situation or like there hasn't been any progress in this connection. With the Temperance card, the temperance could represent Sagittarian energy. 
You may also be dealing with air energy, but keep in mind, you guys, they don't have to be necessarily that sign. It could be the energy that they're taking on at the present time. Now, with temperance, this is all about being patient. This is all about being balanced. Um, but next to the Eight of Swords, I feel that this person that you're dealing with or the person of your interest is almost at a point where they're no longer viewing the situation like it's worth waiting for. Uh, with the Ace of Swords, there is a new idea, a new approach, or perhaps seeing the situation from a very different perspective. And at this point, they're feeling like they've either put a lot of effort or they feel like you're resisting wanting to pursue or wanting to take it to the next level. So there is a bit of frustration there. There is a bit of, like I said, expectation that perhaps you're not really either reacting or you're not really taking action. Um, again, with the temperance, I feel that there is impatience here on the person that you're dealing with. Now, with your cards, you have the hanged man. So I see you guys perhaps feeling like, yes, I am interested in the person I'm dealing with and um, you know I have other things that are going on in my life at the present time that perhaps you can't really you feel like you're not able to give to them the stability or uh, the commitment that they're looking for with the hanged man it's taking uh, some time or not making any movement whatsoever with the four of swords there could have been some type of um, disconnect there could have been some taking time away from each other. There could have been some, it's almost like you're going, you're going into yourself. You're becoming more non-accessible, Aries. And the reason for that is because you're internalizing a lot of things in your life right now, especially I feel that uh, business career-wise is going to be greatly impacting you this year. So I feel that for some of you guys, it's, that you are trying to prioritize what is most important at the present time in your life. And for some of you guys, it could be that you're dealing with the person that perhaps you don't have such a strong connection with. Um, the advice here is if this is, if this is connecting to you, if you don't feel that string that strongly about this individual, or if you feel like within you, you cannot give them that type of stability that you're looking for. Do not, uh, string them along. Do not waste their time because by you wasting their time, you're also wasting yours um, because you are dealing with the stress of, you know, they can only put up with you half-assing uh, the connection for so long. Um, with the high priestess, I see you guys, it, it's almost like you know that there is some type of conclusion that's coming, but you're trying to hold on. For some of you guys, it could be because you feel um, that you don't have many options. For others of you, it could just be because it feels comfortable to you. Um, but nonetheless, you're doing a disservice to them, and you're also doing a disservice to you. Now, the other person has the Ten of Coins. So they're definitely waiting or expecting for some type of commitment here. On your side... You have the four of wands. So I feel that a lot of you Aries are going to be experiencing the desire, the want to build something that is long lasting. Um, is there a possibility for you to give commitment? Absolutely. With the four of wands, you're wanting to build on a solid foundation. But unfortunately for some of you guys, it could be that the connection is not as strongly with the person that you're currently dealing with or the person that you're dating. Um, again, the Ten of Coins is that of wanting the commitment. The expectancy is there. You're able to provide that or you're able to give that. However, with the Hanged Man and the Four of Swords, there is a disconnect in this connection and you're not being truthful or honest to yourself, Aries. Okay? So... Let me pull out another card to represent the partner, the person you're dealing, and your, okay. So we have here the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is all to do with pride. It's all to do with, you know, 
arguing or bickering or having petty arguments and it's like who's going to prove to who. I feel very heavily for some of you guys, you could be dealing with the person that you've been dealing with for quite a while now. And the connection, like I said, on their on their spectrum, there's there's no coin. Uh, sorry, there's no cups here. So it could be that the connection itself is not that strong. Um, it could be that they feel like they've sacrificed too much, like they've given you too much, like they've put too much effort. Like people around them are questioning, where are you at in this relationship? How is it going? Is it progressing? And them not knowing what to answer because you're unsure about what you want yourself from them is put them in a position where they feel like I'm going to stick it through because I'm not going to be embarrassed, because I am not going to, you know, let others that were telling me or advising me, hey, if this person was, if the Aries was interested in you, they would have committed to you a very long time ago. So there is something that is connected to pride, which is what why they're holding on to this situation. Um, it could be pride within themselves, feeling like they are capable of, you know, convincing you or getting some type of commitment from you. However, with the Four of Wands here and the Two of Cups, I feel that for a lot of you Aries, it could be that you're dealing with a situation where you've been dealing with the person, but deep down inside, you have someone already in your heart. Or perhaps you're trying to let go of a person from the past. Because I do see love here. I, I see love, but I see love from someone that is at a distance or that you're no longer dealing with. So that could be the reason why you feel like you cannot give this person the commitment or the stability that they're looking for because you question if you're capable of giving that to them. Yes, you are, but perhaps you feel like you can't with the hangman and the four of swords, like you have to revert back to yourself or pull your energy because you wanted to create some type of stability, some type of strong foundation, but with someone else, someone that you may not currently be dealing with no longer. So again, the advice here is do not string them along. If you feel like at this point you've hit that moment where you have to make a decision or a choice, even if you feel like they're comfortable, even if you feel like you've known them for a long time, if you know without a doubt that your heart is not in the right place, walk away from this because this can also be keeping you from finding the stability and finding true love that's coming or is around you. All right, my lovelies, I hope this gives you some type of insight and we'll see each other soon. Bye.